Hi, it's Kurt here. I've uh, just installed a, a new, I don't know what you call it, a monitoring system, I guess, for water tanks and battery monitor um, and a heap of other stuff from Safiri. Uh, Bruce has helped me install it. Well, at least give me advice on uh, how to put it in and calibrate it and everything else, which has been fantastic. Um, he's in Sydney, I'm in South Australia. Uh, I've installed it in my reasonably new gooseneck horse float or horse trailer, as some call it. Um, I just want to show you guys and show you how fantastic it actually is. So here it is. Point the camera around. This is the uh, display. I'm still learning my way around it. See if I can get the camera focused on here. So basically, it comes up with um, shows you what current is drawing on it. I've got my fridge on uh, one section there up here uh, 18.3 amps it's drawing and the rest of the floats using just under 8 amps so it's got the lights on and stuff obviously showing the voltage down here and the percentage of the battery capacity i still need to calibrate that one a little bit yet but um here it is showing the total amps being used um one of the fantastic things about this compared to the original system that uh, we had fitted um which basically only gave us a quarter half and three quarter and full light on the system um this one actually shows you pretty much exactly down to the liter what's uh what's actually left in the tanks and stuff um this one here's the voltage which is 240 volt which is off at the moment uh just continue on so that's i'll just go back so we've got two two fresh water tanks one under the seat in the slide out and the other one underneath in the bottom and there's obviously Get the camera in the right spot. Black water there is 94%, shows the 118 litres, so we're 126 litre capacity, so we know when we're going to have, you know, crap going everywhere. Uh, Grey water there as well. Um, temperature monitors we put on, one for the cabin, which uh, inside, can put that pretty much anywhere. I believe you can put another two monitors or two temperature sensors on there as well, if we want one for outside. I've been thinking about that one, but um, the fridge is an important one. That's it's on at the moment, but I haven't, it hasn't been on very long, which is why it's so high. And the other beauty of this one, um, because was, this horse trailer is uh, 38 foot long, um, and getting it levels, um, you know, fairly easy to a point, but when you've got gauges like this, uh, just makes life so much easier trying to get things level and nothing worse than falling out of bed when you don't have it sitting pretty. Um, barometric pressure. I've got a week ahead to do the weather on forecast on this sort of stuff, but it's, I don't know, I guess it could be handy somewhere. Um, yeah, back to the home screen. Um, but yes, yeah, so this uh, basically does a heap more stuff and other gauges you can put on it. Um, but yeah, just, uh, I reckon it's fantastic. Um, looking forward to actually going on the road and using it. Um, there's the rest of the float. The camera focus, um, a lovely toilet there in the background. Um, so yeah, just uh, this is our beast. Um, but thanks here, Bruce, for getting everything sent to me and all the help to uh, get it all organized and stuff. Um, calibrated, there's a bit of mucking around doing the, the fine tuning and stuff on that, but uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and so good that I'm actually putting it on a couple of other trucks that we've got for measuring uh, seed treatments and stuff. Um, but yeah, looking forward to having that all working and keep our clients happier than that as well. So, thoroughly recommend it. Um, thanks very much. Bye.